have installed these upgraded D-rings in the corner. There's one there. And then on the passenger side, there's one there and one by the door. And these are actually installed properly as opposed to the, st the ones that came stock. They're bolted down through the floorboard and then there's a plate at the bottom, a nice thick gauge plate that they are bolted all the way through. They're, they're installed at this point. And then the next stage will be installing the beast rack for our bikes. And so stay tuned and enjoy the ride. So he custom makes this for per order, is that right? Ah, uh, well, uh, yes, pretty much. It will. Well, every trailer's a little different, so. You have to designate the width of your trailer. So yeah, I mean, he'll ask you how wide the trailer is at that, or to measure how wide the trailer is. Mm -hmm. So you know how wide a bar, you want the bar to be all the way that, you know, doesn't slide in between, but okay. you want to reach out to the walls. And then I was going to order a standard chalk and an extended chalk, and he said with the width of 95 inches, you won't need that. You'll be able to put two full dressers in here side by side. Okay. He said the extended chalk is for like a 75 inch trailer. Oh, and 75 inch wide. Wide inside. Right. Okay. So like a park or something. So. What do you need? measure the bike to see how wide it is the handlebars and then kind of see where it goes so is that each trailer that's outside is that the tie downs yeah this is right the tie downs and stuff what are you doing so those are way heavier duty looking than what you see on the website that's what the website <laughs> it's a matter of something to get you That's good. I like the thicker. So I would say one of these goes in the middle.
you need me to lift this in for you? counting the holes that are on the top of there to evenly space them? Yeah, I, right now I'm just kind of, I just want to set it up so it looks like, because ultimately, I mean, when I take it back apart, only one of those is going to go on there. Right, okay. So, each. Are they both labeled like that? Oh, oh yeah. And there's a little, uh, rope Beast the base, which... Slide on, and then they have like a you lift it like that, and then they go into the hole that's on top of the bar. Yeah, and that I'm gonna have to figure out the spacing on that to go down into the honey. Okay, so oh, that's pretty easy. Well, that's it, it's together. Wow, okay, so then there's not really a lot of assembly to go to it. Should be the same. She should have four, four holes. One, on two, three, four on the outside, right? right. There you go. And some people have said they didn't like this. They didn't like these handles because that's just the pressed in there. So they, down. They just replaced them with bolt with the nuts. So this just comes off, and you hook this through the D-ring and slide it up inside the bar across the front and then you put the, the washer and the plate back on and then cinch it down. I think the beauty of 
this system is so that there is some play with that those tie down systems. Um, it came over about a half an inch. flip over chocks like the you know where they have the right the rear part that flips up but there is a oh, like a little lip. little lip there that you go up and get or go up into it these are they make these these are specified for Harley Davidson's so while this is in the way it is I want to measure the bike the width of the handlebars that's the important part okay width of the handlebars to see when it's sitting here where would it what, what space would it take up we can't tighten it down too much because there's not those, those are tightening down against a triangle. Um, these are not. This one's not. Now I could probably call them up and say, "Hey, send me another triangle." Mm -hmm. Pay for it, obviously. <laughs> right. Uh, but send me another triangle and put that, you know, say here. Uh huh. And then when that tightens down, it'll tighten it down against. That way, the bar doesn't sag. The bar doesn't right. Under so you, you'd only be able to tighten this down and not not. I don't want to bend the bar. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Is that how long it is? And then that's what that'll make it really, a really strong, sturdy platform. It's pretty, I mean, it's, it's pretty sturdy as it is. But. And we have, we'll have the tie downs on the front, tie downs out to the side, and, and then, then the, the tie downs in the back. And okay. While well, they seem like they're way at the end of the trailer. Bikes eight something feet long, so right. This is a light thing. I think it's I think they're half inch holes. Okay guys, it's been a long day. All the D-rings are installed. The beast rack is installed and we are poop. So tomorrow morning when it's daylight out, we will get the bike out and load it up, see how it all works out. So until then, stay tuned.